The ultimate goal is to take down these pine trees because that's where the future septic will go. Mill them on the gas operated sawmill. We previously unboxed the sawmill and stored the saw head in our shed. And that's about a quarter mile up the road from the build site. One of our viewers recommended we build the sled. We love the idea. The first prototype was just two poles and a piece of plywood on top. We weren't satisfied. We remembered we had a crate top from the saw and we considered just using that metal crate top with a piece of plywood on top and just dragging that. After a quick test, we realized that was not going to hold because I'm probably about half the weight of that saw head. We then combined our first two prototypes and put the metal on top of the poles, reinforced with plywood, realizing that we would have to put the saw head flat on the sled and figure out how to drag it down. Once we started building, we came up with a further refinement of our original prototype. We found this piece of wood and we realized we could reinforce the construction with the crossbars. I wouldn't recommend using a chainsaw to cut something this small, but that was the only cutting device we had at our disposal. We then found another piece of wood and we decided to do more reinforcements pretty much underneath each crossbar of the metal top. Two is enough, screw wise, and then we put a third one towards the back in case we need to, because we're going to need another piece of plywood. Okay. So like one here, right? And now our sled was complete. Our next challenge was to get the saw head out of the shed and onto the sled. The saw manufacturer Frontier recommends a 2000 pound rated strap for lifting this saw head. We decided to use a 3,000 pound strap. Even though we equipped each other with walkie-talkies, they were hard to listen to and we relied on old-fashioned hand signals. The first part of our mission was accomplished and you can sense a huge relief. Now we had to strap the entire construction to the tractor.
using additional straps, using multiple twists and choke knots, uh, each pole is then attached to the tractor as well. Honestly, we couldn't believe it worked, and it worked. But it's a quarter mile pool, and it rained, and the road's not really well graded. There was a moment of readjustment, a couple of things shifted, and we needed to reattach everything to the tractor. And this was for all the marbles going down the hill, down a muddy road, down to the build site. What was supposed to be the hardest task ended up being pretty easy and stay tuned for us leveling our sawmill on uneven ground.